This is the new pneumatic hub that we have been using on our robot so far this year. We've had this strange problem where the compressor sometimes doesn't want to run. What we found was that the wires that went into these um, little terminals, if you pulled on them and held them, it would run. But if you let go, then it would stop. And we noticed that this block just kind of wiggles in here. We weren't sure if it was supposed to be able to do that or not. But we swapped out with a different pneumatic hub and put that on our robot and pulled this one out for some troubleshooting. So we're going to open this up and see what's going on inside. I'm going to start by taking out these screws in the back. board comes right out. So let's take a look at this connector where it's soldered to the board and see if there is a mechanical problem or an electrical problem somehow. If we look at this circuit board under a digital microscope, this area of the board right over here is where that connector connects. I'm going to spin this around and if I take a little screwdriver and push on this connection this one is pretty good when I come over to this one look at that that connection is loose on the board and here it is from a different angle yep see how that pin isn't soldered properly so you're gonna get an intermittent contact when there's a wire installed so I'm gonna see if we can't repair that I'm going to clean off my soldering iron tip and working under this video microscope I'm going to come in here and remelt that one pad and see if that won't fix it. It really looks like there's no flux on that that one solder pad. The, the solder doesn't want to flow onto it. Let's add some flux and see if that helps. I forgot to press record on my video microscope for the last little shot so let me show you what this looks like so this is the pad we're working with and when I melt this the solder doesn't want to flow onto the onto that pad for some reason which is probably why the solder joint failed in the first place so we're gonna add a little bit of solder flux so here's my flux Gonna get a little bit of this on here and just spread it right into the area of that pad. I'm gonna come under here. Yeah, look, it's it's just not attached. So we're gonna get a little flux on there. Let's see if that doesn't help things flow a little bit. I'm trying to get that flux down on the the pad on the board. All right, let's try to resolder that connection. All right. It's like it just does not want to stick on the board. I don't know why. That's very odd. I'm really trying to get the the heat to go onto that pad. It's almost like there's resist. Oh, there we go. Whoa. It's like it's a big, huge heat sink. That's wild. So it's, it's, I'm having trouble getting the heat to go into that pad. So now that it's, now that it's coupled, you can see that it doesn't want to stay melted. 
Wow. Is this the positive or the negative? This is the negative terminal. So there's a very good chance that this, this pad is directly coupled to a ground plane. And that ground plane is acting like a big heat sink. So it's taking all the temperature that I'm putting into it and just carrying it away and not allowing the trace to stay connected. I mean, I do have a good connection here now, but it's not, it's very localized. That's really odd. Let's see if we can't get it to go onto the other side. I'm worried about bumping into this other component and desoldering it. Yeah, that is just the heat is being carried away by that trace and that's why it doesn't want to stay soldered properly wow you gotta be careful because if I keep on putting too much heat into this pin it's gonna end up melting the connector on the top side let's try a different flavor of solder and see if that helps That solder is just clinging to the pin, but it's not melting onto the, the, the board. It's no wonder that this joint ended up being bad. I wonder if anybody else is having these same issues as we had with this, with this one connection. Because if it's this bad, I don't know how anybody has good soldering con solder connections. I can feel the entire board warming up in my fingers as I'm holding on to this. There we go. Now I've got a good bond. Okay, that looks pretty good now. We're going to push this pin around with a probe and see if we've got a good connection. Yes, we do. Got a nice connection there now. So hopefully that will stay soldered. And there's what that soldered con that connection looks like from the side now. It should be more secure. So if you have similar problems with uh, with your pneumatics control board not working properly inspect the uh, solder connections especially to the ground plane and maybe you've got a loose connection from a cold solder joint like this one was it looks like just lots and lots of heat will be the answer to uh, repairing it